Um, I'm Ana Yenena. I'm a professor in urban studies and I'm here to share with you about a project that I believe exemplifies the mutually synergistic and transformational community partnership um, that connects master students with um, local advocacy organizations. So I'll start by sharing with you my motivation for applying for the collaborative publicly engaged scholarship um, in putting together this proposal. So I'm conceptualizing this project as an ambitious um, partnership and a precursor to social policy change um, because it's involving, sorry, I'll do this one, because it's involving um, community planners, both current and future, that includes our students, as well as advocates in the community, um, which are the partners for the project. Uh, and I understand these uh, to, as being two of the influential actors that advance social policies. So the purpose of the project is fourfold. Um, to begin, it's to advance UW Tacoma's presence and contributions as a regional community partner. The second one is to promote the Masters in Community Planning as a burgeoning program in our region. The third is to foster professional experience among our students within their academic requirements. And then finally, to support the work of advocacy organizations in our region, uh, which are my community partners. The remainder of my presentation is organized around these four topics, so I'll dig deeper into how I believe this particular project will benefit each one of the, the members of, of the project. So <clears throat> before I do that, I want to introduce the community partners. Since I submitted this application um, back in December, I believe, there have been several other advocacy organizations that have expressed interest and willingness in participating in the projects. So it's no longer based on just one community partner, which used to be the Mockingbird Society, the, the primary partner that I proposed the project with. But there are others such as Sound Outreach Services and Downtown on the Go that you may have heard of. And of course, the <clears throat> the other community partner is um, the students and the program of the Masters of Community Planning. So getting started with it, how is this project advancing UW Tacoma's presence and contributions as a community partner? Um, I'm basing this answer in the, <clears throat> the particular strategic um, impact the impact goal from the strategic plan that I chose to highlight, um, especially because in, in deeper reading of the material, I realized that it touches upon several of the other facets about scholarship and students. So this, um, the impact goal being our community partnerships are transformational and synergistic. Um, and under this are increasing communities, community members' awareness of how to engage UWT. And so, the community partners that are participating in this project are part of an extensive network of service providers and I'm going to encourage them to invite their network to the final presentations and at the end of that presentation I will distribute a survey to reach out to other community partners that didn't participate in this particular um, iteration of the project to invite them to uh, engage and participate with the program in the next um, iteration. Then there's increasing the application and assessment of best practices by students, faculty, and staff in community engagement. This is going to be done through the research that I'll be conducting as part of the project, and I'll talk a little bit more in detail about that in a later slide. Increasing the number of students graduating with high-impact community engagement and leadership experience, such as e internships, and so Fostered by the course's structure is this professional relationship between us, the students and the community partner. In addition to that, and I will, I will um, encourage students to seek out internship opportunities either with the community partners that they work with or now that they have some professional experience under their, their belt, some um, have identified some of the tasks that they can uh, complete for an organization that they feel better equipped to go and approach another organization, maybe the one, not, not one of the ones that they work with. And then finally, increasing community members' recognition of UW Tacoma as a valued 
thought leader and convener that addresses the problems of our time and place. And so the, the process evaluation approach and the professional support that the students will be providing these advocacy organizations both represent highly valued resources amongst uh, nonprofit organizations. The process evaluation approach is an original evaluation method that I developed and have previously published. And the students will invest an average of 25 hours each to tailor and implement the, evalu the evaluation of the partners program. So the cumulative effect, if we have 18 students, this would be about 450 hours of work dedicated to supporting the um, community partners. So um, the next um, goal or benefit of this project is promoting the Masters in Community Planning as a burgeoning program in a region that attracts, in, a, in the region, that is a program that is attracting and training civic problem solvers. And this particular program was conceived um, for students to gain hands-on skills as well as theoretical knowledge to transform their passion for social change, equity and justice into meaningful, professionally effective, community-driven actions that build on the resources and create that build resources and create long-term social change. So this is getting the word out and exposing our students to these opportunities are integral to the program. Fostering student professional experience within their ac academic um, requirements will be done through, as part of the course, the students will gain a historical and political awareness of the role of organized protesters and social activists. They will broaden their concept conceptualization of social action to the small, everyday tasks that service providers do to promote and support um, social change. They will practice their planning communication skills. This particular course will take place in the spring, which is the end of their first year in the program, so they've already started acquiring skills that they're going to put into, they're going to apply in the context of this course. And then, of course, applying analytical skills in a professional setting. Um, this idea of giving the, the students professional experience as part of their academic work. And in addition to this, and these were all graduate students, um, in addition to this, and thanks to the support of the um, CPES award, there will be funding for a research, a student research assistant that will obtain content analysis training and hands-on experience in qualitative data analysis, which are highly desirable skill sets in many professions and graduate programs. Then now moving to our third um, member, or the, the third stakeholder in the project, supporting community partners. So supporting the work of advocacy organizations in our region, and this support comes in four ways. The first one is the independent evaluators, or in this case, the professional students that will be coming into the organization and conducting the work and tailoring the process evaluation for each one of the advocacy organizations, will receive in some way something that they won't have to pay for, so it will reduce their cost for conducting this maybe initial process evaluation as well as we will be leaving behind um, documentation that they can use for onboarding and training in, ongoing, in their ongoing um, policies and procedures. It will also, um, the deliverable also includes a step-by-step -step manual that is tailored to the organization's needs so that they can in the future conduct their own process evaluations without having to hire an external evaluator for process evaluations which help set you up for a better um, and more efficient program evaluation in the which you were highly encouraged and would need the external evaluator. Um, and then it'll engage, it'll allow them to engage and connect with current and future community members and local professionals. That's our students. Uh, the community members that will either serve on some of the planning commission or they will be in a city, city or state government agencies and start making and fostering those connections, maybe potential executive directors of the future. Um, and of course, identify future opportunities for collaboration within the partnership that is being started with this project, with, the commu with other community members, with the, the students, or with the program, or with me as a researcher. 
so this is um, a little bit more in detail and I don't I know I don't have much time left I wanted to share with you a little bit about the research design so this is a designed as a two group pretest post test uh, design the first group um, will be the students that select to work with a community partner that is doing homeless advocacy the second group will be students that are choosing a community partner that is doing that is pursuing any of the other types of um, social policy such as sustainable modes of trans transportation or financial um, independence. The test, uh, the test will be in the form of um, reflections. There will be three reflections throughout the quarter. The pre-test will be a, a reflection before the course gets started. The, um, there will be a, a test halfway through the court, um, another test halfway through the court, course, which is also another um, reflection. And then finally, the, the last reflection at the end of the course. The treatment will be the, the type of community partner that the uh, students are working with. And with that, um, this, is, this is exactly how I envision the project will accomplish the goal of a mutually synergistic and transformational community partnership. Thank you for your time.